What is up guys? I'm getting ready to do surgery to this carrier rooftop unit. This is a classic restriction for carrier. <laughs> Happens from time to time. Looking at the pressures there, got about 300 on the high side. And about 42, 43 on the suction. Uh, 94 degrees on the liquid line, so from almost 130. <laughs> so you can see we've got about 35 degrees subcooling. I think there's enough refrigerant in there. The suction line temperature about 76 degrees, saturation about 19. So yeah, you see that's about 50 something degrees of superheat. So classic restriction. If you look in here at the meeting devices, you will see they are frosting up. Right there, as each meeting device is in each tube, this is a manifold header assembly, that carrier calls it, and that style of metering device is called an accurator. It's just basically a piston that's caught between two crimped joints in the uh, copper there. So this is a straight cool gas pack, so that makes it simple uh, to do what I'm going to do, and that is I'm going to cut out that assembly, and I'm going to braze in individual feeders to an expansion valve. It will be a much improvement over this system be better than factory so down here this is the suction manifold so kind of sucks that the feeders are behind it but here they are so i need to cut each of these tubes right about here right after that dimple all the way down take the whole manifold out it is hot as heck out here in this arizona desert sun land that separates the men from the boys that includes me from a lot of others as well as the likes of train and carrier from the likes of goodman that could barely last a year on this rooftop before breaking down anyway and that's right all three goodmans that were installed here broke down within the first two years um so just drank two bottles of water now i got a mixture of beyond tangy tangerine vitamin supplement stuff so supposed to be good for you so I just started taking that stuff just pouring the powder into the bottled water here in the mornings <sighs> okay so what I've done in this case since that uh, manifold was on the back side so the front side on this particular model is I have pulled out the entire evaporator coil trust me that's going to make it a lot easier <laughs> and it's pretty much a must so i've got it pulled out switched around so i am facing the metering devices you got two four six eight ten twelve of them on this bastard and uh right there in the dimple in each one is the accurator metering device which i guess i could show you more of once i cut those out so when it comes to uh adding feeder tubes you know instead of trying to get your uh tubing cutter in there I just bring up the snips and uh, should be able to just snip right through it I would if I wasn't holding the phone there we go just pretty much do that to every one of them okay here's the manifold assembly cut off normally you'd be taking these off to replace them but you have to take them off right here each one of these little bell ends right here these are so fragile when you pull them off, a lot of times these will break when you heat them up. They'll break off flush with the bulk plate here, and you're screwed. You, you gotta, if you want to resurrect an emergency, you gotta cut back and get into the coil. So it's good just to cut these back and join it, join it right there anyway. Even if you're gonna put another one of those manifold assemblies back on, you could just uh, fix those up all level and put couplers on there or, or swedge one in. But I'm just gonna put. Uh, feeding tubes in here so these are these just got to be opened up just like they are and then I put the tube in there and kind of crimp it around a little bit and then just sweat them over silver solder them here is the accurator metering device it is a metering device that's just crimped between those two dimples right there and uh, can't see too well through it The opening right in the sun. Oop, there we go. It's pretty plugged. There it is. Got a little pun hole through it. I have a feeling that's supposed to be a little bigger than that. 
it's fun. All right, got them all inserted and welded up. Get ready to drop the coil back in. By the way, um, I've made a lot of these and they always work, but I wanted to get like a pre-made distributor this time, but this job was a ways out and I wanted to, I couldn't remember how many feeders it was. And uh, had carrier rep, you know, they couldn't find any pictures of it or anything. And none of them were in stock. Not even the stock manifold header assembly. They have to order those, so I couldn't even count how many feeders. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. So that's another reason I had to build one. Well, I accidentally deleted my last video I made when I still had the top off. Doing a down on vacuum test. It's holding down under about 700 microns right now, so far. So definitely don't have a leak. Kick the pump back on here for a little bit. So, did take a picture of it, so I'll just uh, put the picture overlay on the video here. All right, now check this out. I don't even have um, it fully charged yet, but it's close. 120 saturation, 116. Um, so like four or five degrees subcooling, running right at 39 on my saturation, my suction. I'm like right around 59, 58 degrees already. So basically, it's not even fully charged yet. And it's got way better superheat. You know, well definitely better than when this thing was restricted, but it's already better than, you know, when these things got that uh, stupid metering devices that are working. These things usually have pretty screaming high head pressure, up around 300. So I don't think it's gonna get that high. Let me go ahead and finish charge on this thing kind of see where uh, where it gets me well, it's about 11 degrees of subcooling maybe 10 10 11 about 127 that says 116 right now and got 38 47 9 degrees of superheat <laughs> it's actually pretty low for these things their superheat usually sucks I'm not going to adjust the TXV. I'm going to leave it right there. Yep. Doing great. And the head pressure is probably running like 10 PSI less than it would be if it still had those, that uh, Accurator style manifold header assembly in there. So definitely an improvement. <laughs>